Okay, why do muscles rip? Well, first of all, we got to realize that we are not really hydrated. We're not really in a state of homeostasis. That's for one. So the body's already in a state of dehydration, which is the first disease. So not only is the body dehydrated, you're not breathing properly. So if you're not breathing properly, which is what the body is run off of, because the you breathe from the lower lungs where more blood is, then more blood can the more oxygenated blood can circulate throughout the system and feed the cells, which is of course your muscles or whatever, any form, any layer of tissue or bone, whatever, whatever have what have you, however you want to look at it. It's the oxygen that's feeding everything. Because of course the breath is the spirit, it is the breath of life, it is it is uh your will, pretty much, however you want to look at it. Because of course you're exchanging breaths of life for you know, for manifestation, say you, you know, go to work for however many breaths a day and you get your paper money, which is your breath in physical form and you exchange it for things. So, you know, of course the body, when, when you're dehydrated and you're short on air, the body is stiffer than it would be, especially if you're eating starch or drinking starch, like alcohol, what have you. So ROYALT512 at yahoo.com for the PDFs. It's a hundred dollars for all the PDFs. The iManuel is sold separately. It's $10. Amazon, uh, is has the uh, ebooks if you search R Bud Vegan on Amazon. So anyway, if the if the tissue is dehydrated and lacking oxygen, it will just be much more stiff, and then will rip when you work out. So you will have to continually work out. You constantly stay as, as a bag of pus because nothing is not healing. It's a constant wound because of course you're working out to compensate for something else in your day because you're exorcising demons that you're holding on to because you're doing things that you shouldn't be doing. So you hold on to things that, that aren't yours. Because, of course, when we give into the notion that we can change people, we give into the notion that we can be changed when only perspective changes. The zoo circle does not change. The zodiac, the game board does not change. But we change perspective by embodying the true will. The truest will will allow us to see above the zoo circle, above the horizon, the horizon. So that's that.